was uh, want to tell you first before I start is I I saw on YouTube many um, no not not that many but I saw some nice videos with a carousel mini album and um, I will get inspired with it and I thought hmm I want to do that too but I know there are some um, kits you can buy that's all in it with with uh, 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 um, a plate, a wooden plate on the, on, on the bottom and a stick and a, uh, um, a stopper on top but well you know me I want to try if I can fix that without buying a, a kit and well I went shopping in my local stores and first of all I was searching for a wooden plate and in my uh, dollar store here in Holland it's called the Action I found this uh, wooden plate and I think this one um, is going to use for putting candles on or nice uh, cheese things or uh, sausage things when you have a birthday or a party and I thought well I think I'm going to use this well the, 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 the bottom is black but the outside is white so that was perfect for me but I'm going to paint it um, again because I, it's, it's already a little damaged but it really was a bargain so I, I thought give it a try so then I went to a building store and I bought a wooden wound stick and I believe this is a <coughs> one centimeter I think no one and a half it's, it's five, 15 millimeters <coughs> Um, whiteness and um, I only can buy it with uh, one yard long so I just bought it because it was not that very expensive and I asked my hubby to um, to make it shorter and I cut it in 25 centimeters and I don't know if it's too long but I thought well I always can cut it shorter if needed so uh, the first why was 25 centimeters that's that's a normal size for a page so I just want to do that um, so yeah he fixed it um, really good tight on this plate and well the next thing I uh, was needed to find a nice button on top and most buttons are um, well not mo most but there are buttons like this porcelain uh, kind of thing but that was not easy to use on this stick but then I saw uh, a wooden one and um, that also came with a, a little screw kind of thing where you can pull it on but I thought well I can use a little um, I call these for <coughs> make your chicken well, I don't know how you call this, but in, in my, my word, it is a saté prick. <laughs> um, anyway, I use these and they fit perfectly in the hole. And they fit perfectly in the hole that my hobby already made in this piece. So it will look like this. And, well, that's the base. And at the end, I'm going to paint it all white, I think. Or, yeah, I, I definitely think I'm going to paint it all white. So that is the base. That is the base. I thought, well, let's work on that. And the next thing was um, how I'm going to attach. Uh, some of you do make hinges on the wooden stick. and um, But I also saw on YouTube, and that was for the zotter. The zotter, that, that is this, this, little, um, this little cute thing. Um, the zutter bind bind it all piece um, and this company made a kit um, with using the zutter for, for making a carousel thing and then use the these 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 kind of um, spiral thing and so I thought well I have a zutter oh my gosh and I I believe I only use it once <laughs> so I thought well I really want to use it again and I, I do have a lot of these uh, kind of binding things 
and so it's really easy so I'm, I, I used I grabbed a little piece that was left over I punched the little uh, papers on and well I think it is going to be working very very well if I put this on here then I can add as many pa uh, pages as I want so and then it will look like this of course from the sides so that is the idea so yeah who wants to make my journey with me <laughs> so I always like finding things to create things that is not all been bought in a kit or anything so I just want to make a video so you can see that you can make things also for your own just looking around just go to a store find a wooden plate it does not have to be exactly the same thing uh, go to your building market they have these sticks in different sizes um, try to find not a too small not too thick just well the mine is 15 millimeters so it will go on these binding spirals things and um, yeah the only thing and I don't know if it really is necessary but yeah I have a zutter and I don't know so for this project I'm going to use a zutter so for those who have a zutter join me please join me and if you don't have a zutter um, I believe there are other other um, things well these are very cheap to buy and there are other uh, kind of things where you can make these holes even with a um, hole punch punch or well, you you will figure that out but I'm going to use a zutter all right <laughs> that is what I was trying to first um, first before I'm going to start and well my habit is to keep looking up to my camera if I'm still in frame but now I have it right here on this side <laughs> oh my God. that is really awkward right now at the moment but I think I will get used of it all right so that's it for the explanation so I think I'm going to start with it yeah <laughs> next thing what I did was playing a little around to see um, what kind of pages I want to make in well first you are going to need to figure it out how deep your pages are going to get so I measured from stick to the end of my plate and if you are going to join me then measure that for yourself because I believe that your plate is not going to be exactly the same size but just measure from stick to end and just leave a half centimeter off. You can see it like this. See? I just leave a little opening. So it won't get over the edge of the plate. So that is how I measured. And I just measured my A4 size papers. And my A4 size are 21 by 29 and a half centimeters. And they are in inches 8 1 fourth by 11 5 over 8 inch. So that is the length of um, my page that I'm going to use. Yeah, that is. So that is fur. So I was playing around a little. And you can do a lot of vi variatie. <laughs> That's Dutch, but sorry for my um, bad English but yeah you can do a lot of uh, nice things uh, with pockets and pages this is just a pocket and this one has an extra flip so we have four flip pages so we're going to make a lot of um, pages in it and yeah love that and also I used um, I really do want to make uh, some nice pockets where we can put these nice ATC cards in it because this um, this carousel is going to stand up and you are not going to flip this page flat so if this is standing up and all your pages are going to flip like this you want to have an and an, an handy access to your pages that was very important for me 
to figure out how I can do that. So I figured out a very nice simple pocket where you still can have a nice uh, access to your card. So you also can put nice pictures in. Easy in and out. So I'm going to use some <coughs> clear sheets. And these are just a leftover from um, like this. <coughs> this is just a big um, 12 by 12, 12 by 12 a photo insert that I'm not going to use. I found this on um, a very cheap store and I just thought well they are very easy to use and very cheap. So that is what I'm going to use. They are not very thick but that's just perfect. I don't want to make it too stiff. Um, so yeah they are perfect to use. That is also then I grabbed some stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use that but these I also have uh, found in an old um, album. Perhaps I can use them also to put nice um, photos in. What else do I have? <coughs> I also have these little things. I really don't know if I'm going to use this, but I just wanted to show you first. These are also very, very easy to uh, use to glue on your papers and put your photos in. So these you can buy if you like. But which I just, I just let you see. You can make this on your own, even cheaper. Um, these are just um, plastic folders, U-shape. Okay, An A7 size. Okay, that is perhaps what I'm going to use. <coughs> Then, <coughs> sorry, I have a little frog in my throat. Um, then I saw that I do have some Project Life Becky Higgins 4x6 pockets. And well, perhaps they are also very nice to use. So, yeah, just go to your stash and see what you have. You don't know, you don't have to buy all of these. But now you know that if you go to your stash, perhaps you have something like that. And, and yeah, let's see what we are going to make with it all. And just going to put these right back in here so I can see them because if I don't see them I will forget, use, forget using it <laughs> that's just me <laughs> um, I like to have all in one side so yeah that I think that was enough for the introduction on what I'm going to do what do you think shall we start yeah oh the only thing I want to say is I don't know yet which which um, Which color background I want to use? Shall I use black background or shall I use white? Well, let's grab this one. Or shall I use white? I really don't know. Well, the carousel is going to be white. And I really love those papers. Will they be nice on black, what do you think? On black, with these papers. Or on white, let's see. Or on white. Gosh! I can't choose so would it be nice to do both of them like a black page white page black page white page because I really can't choose hmm, that's an option now anyway <laughs> let's see what we what we're going to do all right who's going to join me yay <laughs> Hello and good morning everybody. Uh, for me this is kind of new because my camera is not very um, good at the moment. Um, because my normal camera is not charging well. So I uh, find another one and what I've already got. I already got a Sony photo camera and I noticed that you can film with that also. Um, and 
you get a remote control to your uh, smartphone. So before I spend a lot of money uh, uh, on a new camera, I will see if this works too for me, uh, for YouTube. So um, yeah, let's pray for the best. And I already made a film. But my SD card for my old camera also cracked. So yeah, I really had a rough time last weekend. <laughs> but anyway, um, I only filmed uh, showing you these papers. And I already did that in the haul from Countercraft Creations. But I am going to show you again. Um, but I already cut out the, the tags and punched out all the little um, cards. But anyway... You can see that in the whole video, which I did earlier with, 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 um, with the papers that all were intact. So I'm going to use with this project, it's a design team project for Countercraft Creations. And I'm going to use the paper line Authentic and it's called Woman. So for me, it's now the first day of the year to craft again after my Christmas holiday. Uh, you know, when my kids are at home and my hobby, I do not craft upstairs. So I spent two weeks with them and now it's finally time that all is out. <laughs> all is out and I um, have the time of my own. So yeah, it's time to get in my craft room and see what my next project is. So I choose for the authentic romance. Um, just because when this is done and time to put online on YouTube, I guess it's almost Valentine's Day. So I thought that would be perfect to use these papers. So let's dig in first these little tags I already cut out. I also cut out um, the borders from the papers and I cut out the, the name. And uh, Perhaps I can do something with it. I don't know yet, but I think I will. So I cut them all out. Just be sure that that I don't waste them. So yeah, I these are just um, uh, these are all pre-cut from Authentic. So you just have to um, pull them out. So really easy. Lots of nice little name tags and uh, postcard, uh, post stamps, and all kind of little things that were in one sheet. Then I got a sheet from the little ATC cards. Love these, really so cute. They are really amazing. So I cut these out and I got two sheets of these. So I got a nice pile of ATC cards. And then another sheet there was larger things on it. And um, I don't know how you call these, these cards, but they are tons of them and I already cut them all out so that is was that then for the papers um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I want to know fifteen 16, 18. I have 18 papers left to do the project with. So tons of uh, using them. So really going to go real quick to them. Um, so we got this one with the lovely birds and the postcard images on the back with the little pink and red flowers. And then on the back we have these stripes with the flowers on the front. Love these. We got three of them. Then we have the wall image. I really love the simple, simplicity, simply. Uh, well, the simple of it. I really love that. It's perfect when you, for using uh, with busy papers. And on the back we have this wonderful lace, this cream color lace on the front, and a nice vintage uh, wet on the back. Well, it's not completely wet, but I call it just a vintage wet because it's not pink. It's not wet. It's just a color in between. I really like these. So we got three of these. Then we have these black hearts. And they have a kind of a baroque kind of design in it. And on the back, the cream color with the 
uh, lyrics in, in, the, in the back. I really love these. And at the front we have this nice vintage wet woven kind of thing, image. I don't know how you called it, but I really love this. Also three of these. Then we have these diamonds in wet and the pink on the back. And I really love the the the, the funky, the grungy uh, edge on it. So it's not a perfect one, but I really love that. And on the front we have the pink little roses. Also you can see that here also that grungy look. I really love that. And so I flip one. So I know also three of these. Then we have the border page, also like that. Graphic 45 also have that. Uh, many collections do have that and I always love that. And then the other side, oh my gosh, I love black and white stripe. So that is just amazing to use. Also three of these. And then these lovely little hearts. Wow, amazing. And still the crunchy edge. Perfect. And then on the back we have this one. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's it is kind of it's really split. Gosh, I cannot spell that word. But it's it's really nice. I just thought. All right, so let's dig in. So these are the papers I'm going to use. Authentic, called romance, and yeah, let's see what I've got. Next thing, what I did was playing a little around to see um, what kind of pages I want to make in. Well, first you are going to need to figure it out how deep your pages are going to get. So I measured from stick to the end of my plate. And if you are going to join me, then measure that for yourself because I believe that your plate is not going to be exactly the same size. But just measure from stick to end and just leave a half centimeter off. You can see it like this. See? And just leave a little opening. So it won't get over the edge of the plate. So that is how I measured. And I just measured my A4 size papers. And my A4 size are 21 by 29 and a half centimeters. And they are in inches, 8 1 4 by 11, 5 over 8 inch. So that is the length of um, my page that I'm going to use. Yeah, that is. So that is first. So I was playing around a little. And you can do a lot of vi variatie. <laughs> That's Dutch, but... Sorry for my um, bad English. But yeah, you can do a lot of uh, nice things uh, with pockets and pages. This is just a pocket. And this one has an extra flip. So we have four flip pages. So we're going to make a lot of um, pages in it. And yeah, love that. And also I used... Um, I really do want to make uh, some nice pockets where we can put these nice ATC cards in it. Because this, um, this carousel is going to stand up and you are not going to flip this page flat. So if this is standing up and all your pages are going to flip like this, you want to have an, 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 an handy access to your pages. That was very important for me to figure out how I can do that. So I figured out a very nice simple pocket where you still can have a nice uh, access to your card. So you also can put nice pictures in. Easy in and out. So I'm going to use some <coughs> clear sheets. And these are just a leftover from um, like this. <coughs> this is just a big... Um, 12 by 12, 12 by 12 uh, photo insert that I'm not going to use. I found this on um, a very cheap store and I just thought, well, they are very easy to use and very cheap. So that is what I'm going to use. They are not very thick, but that's just perfect. I don't want to make it too stiff. Um, 
So yeah, they are perfect to use. That is also... Then I grabbed some stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use that. But these I also have uh, found in an old um, album. Perhaps I can use them also to put nice um, photos in. What else do I have? <coughs> I also have these little things. I really don't know if I'm going to use this. But I just wanted to show you first. These are also very, very easy to uh, use. To glue on your papers and put your photos in. So these you can buy if you like. But, which I just, I just let you see. You can make these on your own. Even cheaper. Um, these are just... Um, plastic folders U-shape Okay An A7 size Okay, that is perhaps what I'm going to use <coughs> Then <coughs> Sorry, I have a little frog in my throat um, Then I saw that I do have some Project Life Becky Higgins 4x6 pockets And well, perhaps they are also very nice to use So yeah, just go to your stash and see what you have. You don't know, you don't have to buy all of these, but now you know that if you go to your stash, perhaps you have something like that. And and yeah, let's see what we are going to make with it all. I'm just going to put this right back in here so I can see them, because if I don't see them, I will forget, use, forget using it. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> Um, I like to have all in one side. So yeah, that I think that was enough for the introduction on what I'm going to do. What do you think? Shall we start? Yeah. Oh, the only thing I want to say is I don't know yet which which um, which color background I want to use. Shall I use black background or shall I use white well, let's grab this one or shall I use white I really don't know well the carousel is going to be white and I really love those papers will they be nice on black what do you think on black with these papers or on white let's see or on white gosh I think I can't choose so would it be nice to do both of them like a black page, white page, black page, white page. Because I really can't choose. Hmm, that's an option. Now, anyway, <laughs> let's see what we what we're going to do. All right, who's going to join me? Yay! All right. Well, I really have to use my new camera. I want to go up my hat <laughs> for putting on the camera, but it's right there oh my gosh i am not used to it <laughs> anyway i do have eight base page for black for white because i still can't choose which color and i think the black and white will do perfectly on a carousel um thing well i have made eight but i don't know if that that will be enough but we'll see how that work out because we're going to make these fatter of course so um, let's make on one base page two extra flip pages so how we are going to do that well that is so easy of course <laughs> um, let's make just first a hinge And I want to make another one on the other side too. That's first thing to do. Let's fold this. And well, let's do the other one too. 
we need to. Okay, now we are going to just put this right along the side. And let's say, well, this should do it. And then I'm going to measure that, how wide that is. And I think mine, I want nine. Yeah, I'm going to make it nine centimeters. And well, in inches, that should be two and a half inch. So I'm going to cut this at nine. And the other one too. So now I have two flip pages that goes right here. I'll make them a little, I can make them a little wider, I think, but this will do. And I see, of course, that this is not exactly 21 centimeters because now I did a little shorter. And now this one is 20.8. So this is going to be cut at 20.8 centimeters, of course. Well, you can measure yours. And yours should be then eight, one of an eight, I think. So I'm going to cut this first and 28. That should be the right size then. Yeah, it is. Okay, so next thing what we are going to do is of course attach this one nearby the, the binding. So let's use some arc glitter glue because this one still be needed very nice. So I'm going to start at this top right here and now I lay this flat. So I have the perfect measurement. See? Really easy. Okay, let's do it again. And then on the other side. So I'm going to line this up with the opening pocket. Like that and then attach it. There we go. So now this base has a flip page, a pocket and another flip page. Isn't that easy? So easy going. Really cool. Okay, I need to cut this down just a little. That's nice. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that is an option for your base page. What do you think? Yeah, cool. All right, now I'm going to do that one more in black. And so I'm going to score. Half inch, half inch, and I'm going to cut this right away at 20.9, so I cut one, hold it. Uh, you can, you can do an extra thing on a page. Um, shall we do that and at, at, well, let's do that not now, but on the other, on another page. Otherwise we get confused because we have eight pages. So let's make this first. Okay. 
put this on. Line this up with the sides of the pocket. There we go. that that is one base page let's see what we else can make next thing what we can do is let's grab another piece fold it in half well this is the scrap we method to to cut a pay paper in a nice half so I, I'm going to fold this in half and cut this yeah let's first Cut this in the right size, 20.8. And then I'm going to cut this in half. Right. That is the scrap green way to cut two nice pieces. Then I'm going to go at my bone folder and score at a half inch and at four. Do that the same thing with the other one, a half and at four. Let's fold this in, and this one goes in. to the base page. Again, line this up on the pocket side. And then the meaning of that extra flap is to create another pocket if you like and you know me i like pockets especially when we have so much nice atc cards we want to use them okay so that is the meaning we have a flip page and then these we are going to make pocket out of but we can fix that with design paper first um, so these are going to be pockets you can make it as a large pocket or two small ones then you have to glue the middle down then you have two little ones so yeah and then again we have the opening and then we have another one with the pocket you also can uh, leave this open if you like but i like pockets so yeah i already did that on white is it tried out for you guys? So, okay. That's the second base page. Cool. Oh, I <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> I was to go up with my hand. No, it's right here. Mm, okay. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. Anyway, <laughs> up to the next base page. All right, for the next one, I am going to use these um, photo sleeves. Um, which I show you earlier and I think it will add nicely in the carousel to put some photos on <coughs> which one is on the each side visible so that is what I'm going to do with the next one so what I did was well these are my sleeves and I first going to cut this piece off 
So I still have a little um, larger on the back and a little smaller on the front. So let's cut out this piece. So this is easy in and out with on the back a little larger than the front. Yep. Then I am going to make a fold line. Of course, for the same size as my page, my flip page. So I am going to make a fold line. Right here, and then I will cut it down. not cutting but no ah, okay I don't know why that happened but anyway now you still can use these to make a little pocket out of it so let's say I am going to cut this one off and you have a pocket still and this one is also a tuck in so don't don't waste your stuff okay so now I have this and let's say this one is on top so I want this to the back now this is a little tricky because this is a very stiff material but if you really increase those Full lines really well, then it should stay there. Okay, so now I'm going to put some tape on for some extra stability. I'm going to cut this with my Fiskars non stick scissor. And then that's it guys, then we can apply this. On this page. Ta-da! And it just fits, it just fit perfectly. So that is it. And later when we put some design paper on here you do not see this so this will be shut down and then this will nicely fit in the carousel nice for nice pictures on all right love it so now i have one more of course so i'm going to do that one more time let's say oh this one is not very nice let's use this one like I said, it is a second hand thing. I did not bought this. This is from, I don't know which map, which, which one it was, but it's a second hand. And before I throw my um, album away, I thought, well, perhaps I can use this sleeve. So I did not throw it away. No, 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 that's not me. <laughs> Always collecting things that is not too expensive. Okay, let's make another fold line. Keep it steady. Keep it on its place. Let's cut it with my precision. Let's see if that. Oh, yeah, it cuts like butter. <laughs> Alright. So, again, I'm going to save these. Perhaps I'm going to use that later. Let's say, yeah, this is on top. So, I want this on the back. <coughs> I 
hope I did not get a cold because I hate being having a cold but perhaps it's just a little 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 tiny frog in my throat so fingers crossed that it stay there just a little a little more I can handle <laughs> Oh my god, we had a party last weekend and it was a double party. Um, in the afternoon we had a surprise party uh, from 3 o'clock to 7. And then um, from 8 till 2 we had a New Year's, New Year's uh, drink on the gym for my son. And gosh, that was a lot of hours being partying. And my voice was yesterday really not happy with me. <laughs> so perhaps that's why I got a little froggy in it. But anyway, we had lots and lots of nice time. But I was exhausting when I was getting home. I believe it was 2.30 in the night. So yeah, that is almost 12 hours partying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, I think I like this. So you see, you can find any kind of nice extra stuff to put in your um, base page. So do whatever you're going to like. And this week I'm going to cover that up uh, later, of course. So yeah. Now I have a black and a white one. Yay! Well, still one base page to go. Alright, for the last base page I am going to make kind of a little waterfall. But then little flip pages like this. And then the opening, the pocket and then again three little pages. I thought that would be fun. So let's do that. Let's grab... A, an A4 and well I'm going to cut it in half in the scrap queen way I'm going to cut this in half Ta -da. but I know for sure that I have two exactly the same ones score it at a half because we're going to make six little pages fold it and I am going to cut these in nine centimeter same as the other base flip page we made <coughs> and in inches that is done three and a half three and a half inch so I'm going to cut three pieces normal do with little pieces and so I have six okay so let's grab the base page and start with the first one and we are going to glue this all the way down that's to start same as we did with the first page line this up with the opening from the pocket and push it down Okay, now grab the second one and open this and see where we want to put this. And oh, this is nice. <laughs> My new ruler had a uh, which I got from Julie. Uh, thank you, Julie. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. And uh, the special way where, where when this ruler is awesome because we have centimeters and inches, 
and I hope this one will um, provide my centimeters longer than my other one, my cheap one. And uh, this one really has a good grip for cutting and a nice opening so you can put your fingers in it. So really nice. Um, but uh, I'm going to measure this <coughs> for about six. And you can see that also a little eyeballing when this part is equalized with the top piece. So you can measure a little. Uh, but I want to make a little mark right here, a little dot. And then I'm going to add some glue. And then inside, really against the other fold line, push this right in. Check it if you're not going to overdo the fold line. And then make sure your glue is saved. Okay, and then the last piece, of course, is going to be on the top. Open this up. Going to be really close to the edge. See if it still fits. We want this still to be fitting. All right, here we go. So we have one, two, three pages. Now this one will come a little over, over the edge. And um, I am just going to cut that off. So it's just a little, little thing of mine. I want it nice and equal. So I'm going to cut this nice, steady. So it's a nice equalize. There we go. That's just a little off so this is really tight and neat so okay so let's do that with the other one so let's flip this up and the first one is going to be on this side so one two three and when we flip this on we are going to go to start on the bottom so this is on this on the right side Now the second one, first going to see where it is and I measure and I'm going to line this up so it's about six, yep, right here, and make a little mark and then some glue on. I just love my off little glue. Gosh, I am so happy that we can now get it in Holland too. So that is awesome. Because when you are starting to use it, you I am definitely going to be addicted. And I use it more and more and more. And I'm just loving it. No tape, no um, ugly um, that is come, come underneath, I just love it. When you don't use it uh, too much on paper, especially on a hinge, it's just perfect. Perfect. There we go. And you can smooch it out if you do leave a little behind but ta -da. here we go one two three and same thing from here I want to check if there's something yeah and of course that is just a little and I want to cut that off too so it's really just a bit But I hate it, so I'm going to cut it off. Yep. That 
tell where that gets. Very nice straight edge. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that is that for our last base page. So yeah, in black and white. And one, two, three, opening. And then on this side, one, two, three. Same as with the white, perhaps it's better for the camera. See? Cool. I love it. Especially for putting nice paper on or nice picture on. Perfect. Alright, so now we have eight base page. So let's see how this looks already. So give it a test. All right, what do you think? It's just loose because this I did not bind it together. It's just standing quite loose. Just see how this. Oh, I think I like it. What do you think? I think it's enough for now. So after this, I'm going to do the. Um, yeah, I think I think this will do. But let's see how it how they end with the design paper on it. But I think uh, I think it's it is quite enough. What do you think? Yeah, I think it is. If I will put this right open like this, and then you can go along. Finding your pictures and finding your openings. Oh, we put also nice things in. Yeah, love it. Cool. Oh, I, I can't decide. Oh, I'm really excited. All right. Um. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> 